Hey guys, because i got to spare a few minutes, I decided to set up my whole solar system as I'm going to have it on my car, just on the front lawn. So that's the roof rack. <laughs> that's the solar panel that's going to go on the roof rack, 38, uh, 330 watt, 48 volt. Then I've got this other little um, uh, fold out one uh, just for extras. And I've got the new DCS 80 Extreme battery. I've just put it in the battery box for now and all the other little gadgets. That's the 48 volt Victron, or actually 100 volt, uh, up to 100 volt Victron solar controller. Um, that's the battery protect, so when uh, this drops down to 12.0 volts, it'll cut it out, that's what that does. Then I've got the smart shunt, the Victron one as well. This one I've got running for accessories because the battery itself has got an app that will tell me what's been drawn out of it. So, wired it all up, set, sit it here, North is that way. Uh, I'll show you the apps. All right. Okay, I've been out all day. It's been out in the sun. Let's see what's happening with my batteries. So I'll go to my battery apps. This is the DCS app. I'll let it connect, successful. Oh, fully charged. It's cranking. Look at that, 14.8. Um, slightly charging. Let's go have a look at the DC, uh, the Victron stuff. So the solar controller app. Uh, it tells you in watts, voltage, current, uh, all that sort of stuff. Lots of information about that. History. There we go. I've got 260 watts, 10 watt hours today. Interesting. I hit a maximum of 40 volts at some point. Um, consume nothing because it's connected to nothing trends well i've only just connected it today um let's go see what our battery protector is doing um so good we can go to settings and change it so if i want to change any of the presets i can if i want to being lithium though i've set the minimum to 12 volt and reconnect at 13. there is a lithium mode here somewhere mode lithium mode I don't know what that does. That drops it down to 10 volt. So obviously you wouldn't use that in an application um, as a start battery, but it's interesting that it's there. I'm gonna keep it in relay mode. Um, and then the last app we've got is the Smart Shunt. So this is connected to my um, folding solar panel. So at the moment it's pulling, I don't know now, um, very low amps out of that panel. The other one's actually in the shade. Anyway, that is all of my little battery apps. There you go.